put his foot at one place and he removed his foot. He said, that is exactly the same place I put my foot. And that is how much Imam Ali is to put the Holy Prophet That is why the Prophet Know that Imam Amir al Mu'min was exactly his student and the same thing like him. But tonight I just want to emphasize on three things about Imam Ali al One is about the knowledge that this great Imam has from the Prophet. Number one, as the hadith that we all know about, where the Prophet says, Ya Aliya Ana Madina Tula Elam wa Ali Yuba. That I am the city of knowledge and Amir al Mu'min is what? Is the door of that knowledge. But here I have a comment. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the enemies of Ali Bayt any time you see a fadila, a marriage about Ali or Ahlil Bayt. The enemies of Islam, what did they do? They try to twist it one way or another to make it look like no Imam Ali is not special. So you go to some of the hadith which was fabricated. Then it says the Prophet said, Ana Madina fil Al wa Ali al Barwa wa Abu Bakr Sakhwa wa Umar Jujran. Huh? Allah. That the Prophet says, I am the seed of the knowledge, and this Ali is the door, and this person is the roof, and the other person is the window, the other person is the wall. Now I have one question to that narrator. Who is the toilet of that city? <laughs> <laughs> if you are able to get the roof and the wall and everything, now tell me who is the bathroom? <laughs> Maybe a <Abu> Huraira, right? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells it, Ana Madinat al and then somebody comes to fabricate to make the Imam Ali not to look unique and special. No, they have to add some things out of their own in order to make the Hadith not to look special about Imam Ali Now when you go, the fact even the history tells us that, and then when you go to the, the life of all the companions, they all agree that the knowledge that Imam Amir al muminin had, nobody ever had the same knowledge that Imam Ali. Ibn, Ibn Abbas, who was known as one of the great scholars in the Hadith and the field of Quran, when they asked him one day about his knowledge compared to the knowledge of Imam Ali, Ma al Ali This Ibn Abbas, who was known as one of the great scholars, Ibn Abbas, Yu'atamadu alayhi fit tafsir, Bayna ulama is Sunnah wa Shah. Among the Sunni and Shia, they always said that it was great scholar. But when they asked him, What is your knowledge compared to the knowledge of Imam Ali? Listen to what he said. He said, Kal khatratu filmah. It's like a drop out of the ocean. That's my knowledge. He was a great scholar. But he says that if you want to compare my knowledge to the knowledge of Imam Ali, mine is like a drop out of his ocean. And don't be surprised, Imam Ali sat with Ibn Abbas one night and he gave him the tafsir of Bismillah the entire night. Until he said to Ibn Abbas, Wallahi no shit. Had I want, Imam Ali said, I will have to tell you the tafsir of Bismillah where the 70 camels cannot even carry them. No. This Bismillah, I'll give you the tafsir of this Bismillah that you bring 70 camels. And you know how much, uh, how many kilos that camel can carry? Or pounds a camel can carry? Okay, Imam Ali said, I will give you a tafsir where the 70 camels cannot carry. That was Imam Ali al Mumbini Salaamu Alaikum. To give us some about the knowledge of Imam Ali, see that one time, there was a man who was born and he had two heads. Now people were wondering, is he a one person or two? We want to know, is it two or one? There's two heads, but when he comes down, it's one body. They went to different scholars. Somebody said, no, it's two. Wow, they said, you see two heads, so that means two people. Somebody said, no, it's one person. How? Because there is a one body here. People could not give the answer whether it's a one or two. How can we find out? Nobody can tell. 
No le dice, al sal, tu mamá va a salir. Dirías que no va a salir. Dice, no, ese es el agua, salió. ¿Cómo estás que no va a salir? De vuelta, tu mamá va a salir. Dice, ya, mira, no me dice. We have such a person who has two heads, but we don't know one body, but we can't tell if it's a one or two. Because there is a hope in Islam which, which leads on this. Because if there are two people, then they have to deal with them as two people. Private has to be kept away from one another. So we have to know. And number two, if one person dies, how should we know? Now they go all around, they couldn't find us. They ask Imam Ali alayhi salam. Imam Ali alayhi salam said, they are two people. He said, how can we tell? How can we know that they are two people? Imam Ali said, wait until they fall asleep. When they go to sleep, he said, touch the ear of one person. If they both wake up, the number is the one person. <laughs> if one person wakes up, the number is the two people. Because one is up and the other is still asleep. They went there and they fall asleep. When they fell asleep, they touched the ear of one person. He wakes up and the other person was still asleep. Imam Ali said, I don't want to knock him and know what in which university you can go and get this knowledge other than from Imam Amir al salam Allah. In which book you can go and learn this knowledge other than from Imam Amir al Mumin Salawat Allah. That was one of the knowledge of Imam Amir. So many incidents happened during the time of Khulafa and they couldn't solve it until they come to Imam Amir al Mumin salam that was one out of the ocean of the knowledge of Imam Ali Number two, which is the Shaja'a of Imam Ali al which nobody can doubt about this. The brave of Imam Ali al Islam, that when you go to the history, it's full. And one out of them was this, which was narrated from all the books that you can touch or you can find. All the Islamic histories. That if you go to the history, one of the one of them, out of out of the many, one of them was known as the Maharakat al Which Quran, Alhamdulillah, we read Quran. You read Surah Al Ahzab and see how Quran was not, was telling you and I about the situation. That the year where the Muslims knew that the the not Muslims, the enemies were about to attack them. And what happened? The Prophet said, take a ditch around, around the Messenger. They did. And what happens? When the enemies came, they found the ditch now, they couldn't cross the Medina, except one of the famous among them, among the other wicked angry. He was able, he was known as one of the heroes of Arabs. He was able to cross and come to Medina. And he came, the Prophet was sitting with his companions. Allah Akbar. And he said, Ya Muhammad, are you ready to come and fight me? Has been Mubariz and Mubariz. Is there anyone among you who was ready to come and fight me and challenge me? Now listen carefully. The Prophet then said, Man yakumu li amr ibn abduhud wa udminu lahu al-jannah. Wallahi al-azim, dear brothers, I don't know myself. If I was there, what would I do? Allah knows. <laughs> 